To apply an animation to our model, let's take any animation, for example, from the Mixamo website. As an example, I'll choose an old, frail man. I think he will look interesting paired with our little girl. I recommend selecting the Width Skin option. This will preserve the original model's mesh along with the linked animation. We'll need this model in Unity to set up a neutral T-pose when retargeting animations. I'll pick a couple more different animations and move on to Unity. Go to the folder with our character, Base Mesh, and right-click to import the three animations into the project. For convenience, I'll rename these animations. Select all three animations and open the Rig tab. Here, set Animation Type to Humanoid. In the Avatar Definition section, choose Create from this model and click Apply. In the Configure tab, you can check if the bones are mapped correctly according to Unity standard configuration. Since we're using the standard Mixamo skeleton, all bones will automatically be positioned correctly. If you're using the Epic skeleton from Unreal Engine, the bones will also align properly without issues. For non-standard skeletons, you can always map the bones manually and everything will work fine. Now select our little girl and do the same for her. Set to Humanoid, in Avatar Definition choose Create from this model and click Apply. In Configure, you can also verify the result. If all bones are highlighted in green, everything is fine. Red indicates either an incomplete skeleton, incorrect bone hierarchy, or that Unity can't set a T-pose. Now we can test our animations. Open any of them and go to the Animation tab. For convenience, expand the preview window. All we need to do is drag and drop our girl into the preview window. She will instantly be applied to the selected animation. Done! Everything works perfectly. Now let's look at a few important settings. Unity automatically calculates root bone offsets based on IK deformation and animation looping parameters. To prevent this, simply check Bake into Pose for each axis parameter. This will make the animation play in place. Let's move on to the next animation. Here's our old woman. As you can see, she's shivering a little. If such artifacts are too distracting, you can disable animation compression. This will remove animation compression, but increase runtime processing load in the game. This happens because most Mixamo animations are mocap recordings from real people. Some of them haven't been cleaned up thoroughly, and after animation compression, jittery movements may appear that were less noticeable in the original. Moving on. In the next animation, you might notice red indicators. They show the absence of a looped animation, or root motion. This is not an error. If necessary, you can disable root motion calculations for this animation. Result, this method works not only with Mixamo animations, but also with any others compatible with Mechanim Avatar. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like.